Hi again fans, and we're at the ATL tonight for our WL Black Friday, Wally Cardill, along with Johnny Bianco here, and it's going to be a mammoth supercar. You're not lying on that one. Ten spectacular matches, with six of those being championship title matchups. So they really don't come much bigger than tonight. Okay, well let's get it in gear right away with our opening contest, which sets Logan Paul against the living legend, Larry Zabisco. A viral sensation, a spectacular boxer, and now a WWE superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 185 pounds, Lucas Paul. You know, we know Logan Paul's taking on some of the top names in boxing and WWE. And he may be big on the internet, but can he really handle a fight? Why don't you roll in the ring and find out yourself, Saxton? No, I'm good. I'm good right here. Put a little respect on Logan Paul's name. He did sort of start off as a bit of a joke, but Logan Paul has silenced the critics with his willingness to educate himself in the business and a work that they we can respect. WWE debut across the ring from Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. You're right, Corey. Uh, Logan Paul accomplished something that few ever have. And Rey Mysterio was the one who felt the honor. Oh. While all that might be true, Larry Zabisco sees Logan Paul as just another hey, interloper, a wannabe within the business, and he's got to look to embarrass him here. And his opponent from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 234 pounds, the living legend, Larry C. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. Larry Zabisco's long history as a traitorous double-crosser began with his betrayal of Bruno San Martino in the late 1970s. He has only gotten worse ever since, and tonight, he's got Logan Paul in his sights. Here's what Larry said on the record regarding his opponent. This kid's faced a handful of young punks within his own generation and still hasn't gone one-on-one -on -one with a real wrestler. And tonight, I've got Logan's one-way ticket to Larry Lamb. He's walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against his opposition. Superstar with a big chip on his shoulder. He has certainly felt overworked recently. Well, he has a chance to change that perception in this matchup. And then you have an egomaniac like Logan Paul, also ready for action. You'd have an ego too if you were already as good at our sport as he is in such a short time, Saxton. Logan Paul's a real natural, a mega mogul, an influencer, a social media god, one of the baddest men around. Should I continue? Okay, Corey, I think I know who's paying you under the table. Oh, what a hook! And Paul caught by surprise. Oh, what a shot! I can't believe I'm even asking this, but Corey, what would you consider the ideal strategy to take on Logan Paul in this matchup? I'll answer without the condescension, Cole. The key is utilizing your veteran advantage. End of the day, while Paul may be a megastar, he's not a WWE superstar. Even with his boxing prowess, even with all the tutelage he's received from The Miz, Logan Paul's still very much a rookie in the ring with all the weakness that entails. Great reversal. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Suplex! And Paul could have all the natural ability in the world, but it didn't prepare him for that. He'll take things into the ring. Six! Oh, well scouted by Paul. Yeah. That's a form that'll floor you. Ooh. Perched up top. Oh, misses the mark. Well, that'll 
do some serious damage. Oh, no. Getting in position. What's he planning to do here? I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. I don't want to see him tap out. Not like this. He's risking... Per and breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Athleticism. Oh, that was pretty cool. He skirts around it. Oh, this is going to be great. Looking for the second, and now perhaps again. That's two. And perhaps a trifecta. Submission here. Legs are locked up. Uh oh. Oof. Face first. Oh, this could be something. There he is. Will Paul recover? Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be tap out time. A normal man would have submitted by now. And he lets him out of the submission holes. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. We got a rope right That shoulder targeted there. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. Hammer it away! A heel hook 
Locked in, you can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Out of the way in time. And respond with a counter of their own. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. He's falling victim here to a charge of attacks. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. From the top. Look at this, he let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Paul's attack gets reversed. But he still has more work to do to get this fully in his favor. Climbing the turnbuckle now. And the high oh, perfectly tied with the knees. Kick to the gut. Pump handle applied. Pump handle slam. in the room. Logan Paul's eyes tracking the opposition. Evil to reverse. So close.